In the last lecture, we talked about a hub which basically connects different network segments together. But I also told you that hub is a non-intelligence device, which means it transfers segments packets to all other devices. In this lecture, we are going to talk about a bridge. A bridge specifically, a transparent bridge is a network device that connects two similar network segments together. Its primary function is to keep traffic separated on either side of the bridge, breaking up the collision domains as you can see on the screen. Now on the screen you can see that, I'll take the example of, um, yes, so you can clearly see, a laser pointer, yes. So now this segment is, now suppose this laptop wants to communicate with this PC. So if it was a hub here, this laptop would send a packet to this hub and unnecessarily the hub would transmit the packet to this PC, to this PC, to this PC and to everyone. So what a bridge does is basically it separates this traffic from this traffic. So you don't need to actually send each and every packet to every other device. Then transmission is allowed to pass through the bridge only if it is intended for the opposite side. For example, if this PC wants to send the packet to this PC, then only the bridge will allow the packet to pass. And that is why uh, sometimes some network professionals also call bridge as an intelligent hub. Basically, it is transmitting the packet to and fro in the network. It is the same function as the hub, but in this case, bridge is using its mechanism to actually see if that packet is really intended for the opposite side of the network. It, do it just doesn't keep on transmitting random packets to each and every receiver. Now, bridge uses MAC address to make forwarding decisions and hence, bridge is considered as a layer 2 device. Now, bridge and switch are almost similar and the term bridge and switch are often used interchangeably because the two devices uh, mostly use the bridging technologies. The past tense is there for a reason, you'd be hard pressed to buy a bridge today. So keep buying bridge, but make sure that you clearly understand the difference between bridge, hub and a switch. It is really very important that you understand all these differences.